Work experience is a vital building block for teens and young adults. It fosters a sense of responsibility, develops skills, and lays the foundation for meaningful career paths. And now two Grand Rapids organizations are teaming up to help young adults facing instability navigate the job market. Joining us this morning, we have the program manager from The Source, Lourdes Jordan, and Andy Allen from the AYA Youth Collective. Thank you both so much for being Thank here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, well, let's first talk about what your, both, what your organizations both do, okay? What, what your lanes are. Sure. sure. Want to start? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Happy to do so. So AYA Youth Collective supports youth ages 14 to 24 who are experiencing homelessness or housing instability. So we fit that lane of how do we help 14 to 24 year olds get connected to resources or housing. So we have a drop in center where youth get connected that way. And then we have 12 homes throughout the city where youth can actually live and find their own unique paths to stability. Perfect. Thank yeah, you. and the source is a network of employers um, who want to support their employees um, in their day-to-day -day lives. Uh, they recognize that uh, that people have human problems mm -hmm. that show up to work on a day-to-day -day basis. So our our job is really to support employees and um, see how we can connect them to the right resources in the community so that they can show up fully to work. Yeah, and now you guys actually are coming together and forming yeah. a partnership. So tell us a little bit about how this came to be. Yeah, I can talk about that if you yeah, want. So, um, the source, our team of resource navigators, we tour different organizations within the community so that we can know um, the resources that we are connecting our clients to. Um, and so, part of that was touring AYA, getting to know their mission, their work, um, their clients as well. And so, we did a tour as a team of resource navigators. And AYA has um, historically tried to, to support youth in employment as well. And we recognize that we both have very specific talents within and knowledge within the community. So um, we started having conversations about what it would look like to partner up and, and see how we can support the youth of our community. I, I love that. And you know, we're such a giving community and there are mm -hmm. so many wonderful resources available. Talk about how the, the benefits of bringing two organizations together mm -hmm. for something like this, how it's really going to help the clients that Andy, you guys serve. Yeah, so both of us are not in the business of reinventing the nonprofit wheel, right? So how do you stay in your lane and partner really well? And that's a, a huge priority for us. Mm -hmm. So. AYA exists because we are that space where youth really trust, they feel dignified, um, they have their people. So, so for many of the youth that we see, uh, they've not had that circle of support in their life. Mm -hmm. um, and we can only do so much and the source can only do so much. But together, it's so incredibly helpful to say, you are an expert in this, mm -hmm. so we don't have to be. So AYA is that place where youth come, they feel seen, and then we can transitive property, right? Get them connected to the source so they trust them. And then employment starts to happen. Stability starts to happen. Generational wealth starts to happen. Our community thrives. I mean, it's like a giant snowball that mm -hmm. takes so much time and intentionality, but it's great to partner with an organization that sees these values the same way that we do. Yeah, and also too for youth when it comes to actually putting together a resume or even just making that first initial contact, that can be kind of nerve wracking if you've you know, never done something like that before. So how is this program going to kind of work together to be able to address some of those to help kids get that first foot in the door? Yeah, um, we, but the source has, an, an, like I said earlier, like, an, like a network of employers right. and so these are employers that have been with us, some for 20 plus years, some mm -hmm. for a couple of years. And so we've developed uh, a strong relationship with them, their HR teams, um, their leaders. And so there's that trust. Uh, there's a trust there. And so we can sort of help bridge the gap between knowing how to apply, uh, calling to check on your application. Um, and like you said, b building resumes, uh, knowing what to put on, right. on them is hard. And so, and there's a lot of hidden rules to, mm -hmm. to like how to go about finding a job, um, interviewing, all these things. And so our, our work is really to prepare youth um, to be able to, to interview and, and be hired in, um, and then to not let them go there, right? We understand that yeah. their life is still gonna happen. And so we, we stand with them through their employment and work with their supervisors to, um, to really like wrap around them um, and like Andy said, that, that really impacts our community. This is the, this is the future of our community um, and the future of the workforce. So we want to make sure that they are fully supported. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and Andy, talk a little bit about to your clients and, and kind of the stigma that goes along with someone who, who is, is not 
you know, doesn't have a home to go to, sure. how they end up there. And, and I mean, obviously the benefits of this program, this is breaking down huge barriers for them. Yeah. So I think when we think of uh, even just the word homelessness, right, we have a stereotype that comes to mind. But mm -hmm. you, the youth that we see, there is no one path to experiencing homelessness. Uh, many of our youth have self-selected and say, mom and dad have enough for my two younger siblings, but I'm going to choose to exit the home and find a place, and that leads to homelessness. A lot of our youth have aged out of foster care. Um, we have youth that, yeah, have led really, really great, wonderful lives, and something happened to their family, and they're now sleeping in their car. So. Mm -hmm. Knowing the unique path that got them to an AYA or the source is vital to figuring out that unique path to the next thing. And uh, to have those wraparound services that say, now that you're employed, if I am a young person and trying to figure out like, all right, I'm going to be late, I should just not show up to work. I'm like, no, here are things that you do with an employee or an employer. And that's where the source comes in. And then 80% of our youth are people of color as well. So making sure that we work with employees and employers that represent the youth that we see is vital to this work, both for the youth that we see as well as our community. And so the source does that incredibly well, which is really important for us. And like you're saying, it really does take a community, a village, so to speak, to, to really come together. So if somebody wants to help out or wants to be a part of this, how can they do that? Yeah, uh, contact AYAYouth.org um, or just shoot an email to advancement at AYAYouth.org and we can get you plugged in. There's so many volunteer opportunities at AYA. Um, we can get you connected to the source as well. But uh, really just reaching out, checking, going out to our website, um, whether it just be making sack lunches or making hot meals for the youth that we see. We see 60 a day. Um, and then just if you're an employer that are, is interested in partnering, we'd love to talk with you and see what our program is like and what you all are offering. Um, we're always looking for really, really strong partnerships. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And yeah, so you guys are look, always looking for employers to join. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we want to make sure that, you know, like Andy mentioned earlier, that they are employers that reflect the people that we serve. And so with this program specifically, we have uh, chosen to partner with BIPOC-owned businesses so that we can show the youth who they can be and, mm. and the the hope for the future. That's right. It. Well, thank, thank you. you guys yeah. so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And just like we said, if you want to learn more information, there are the websites on our screen. You've got grsource.org and ayayouth.org as well. And of course, we'll have all of that at our website at fox17morningmix.com.